Hello, my name is Stefan Victor. I'm the team lead of WHO's Global Hepatitis Program. We are delighted to present to you the monitoring and evaluation framework for hepatitis B and C infection. Over the years, it's become clearer for WHO that viral hepatitis is a major public health problem. For that reason, we prepared a global health sector strategy on viral hepatitis. That strategy needs monitoring and evaluation, and here's a framework. The monitoring and evaluation framework for hepatitis supports the global health sector strategy for hepatitis. It is a result chain similar to HIV. It facilitates the collection and analysis of standardized data. We've been trying to find balance between remaining parsimonious and obtaining the minimum information required. The monitoring and evaluation framework is made of indicators. Ten core indicators have been numbered between C1 and C10. Twenty-seven additional indicators have been numbered between A1 and A27. The ten first additional indicators from A1 to A10 are specific of viral hepatitis. Seventeen additional indicators have been recycled from other programs. They are numbered between A11 and A27. The 10 core indicators are displayed around the result chain. This result chain starts from context, then go to inputs, then to output and outcomes, and then to impact. Context is about epidemic patterns. Inputs are about systems. Output and outcome range through the cascade of prevention and care. And then impact is about new infections and death. C1 is about the prevalence of HBV and HCV infection. C2 is about the infrastructure for biomarker testing. Prevention indicators between C3 and C5 include vaccine coverage for B, needle and syringe distribution, and healthcare injection safety. We then enter the cascade of care and treatment with C6, which is a proportion of those infected who have been diagnosed. C7 is treatment coverage for B or treatment initiation for C. C8 is about viral suppression for HBV or cure for HCV. C9 is the incidence of HBV and HCV infection. C10 is the mortality from hepatocellular carcinoma or cirrhosis. The three prevention indicators from C3 to C5 are already collected in the context of other programs. Five indicators about the cascade are actually paralleling the approach used for HIV. Two indicators, C2 for testing and C10 on the mortality, are new and specific to viral hepatitis. The 10 additional indicators that are specific for viral hepatitis between A1 and A10 are not essential for international reporting. However, countries may choose to collect data on them. The 17 additional indicators from other programs are already collected for other reasons. However, viral hepatitis program may choose to monitor them as they may guide the implementation of activities for prevention and controls of viral hepatitis. In summary, integration is possible. On one side, routinely collected data are to be used, but new data collection mechanism will be needed. We hope that you found this presentation clear and you find the document useful. To help you in using the framework, we'll be preparing additional tools to facilitate data collection for these indicators.